Hey everyone, it's Gigi. I'm going to very quickly show you how to make a Cuban chain link in this video. I'm in Blender 2.9 and when you start off new in general, you're going to see this cube. You can go ahead and hit X to delete that. Shift A, curve, circle, hit one on your number pads and go into this side view. If you don't have one, you can always just do Alt, no mouse, will click and drag to pull that around. So now you want to go into the, the edit mode. And you can hit tab to do that. Select the middle vertice. Doesn't matter which one is selected. You're just going to go ahead and drag it out to start to make this kind of figure eight infinity shape. It doesn't have to be completely perfect, but you do want to make sure that they're um, pretty even. Okay, and then you're going to alt and then that's a little click and drag, select the middle again, go ahead and pull it around so that you can make that kind of figure eight looking shape. All right, go into your object data properties, go to geometry, and add in some depth. If it's too thick or too skinny, you can always fix that later. And I want to adjust this just a little bit so it has a little more height. I'm going to click one of the handles, grab, and because this is going along the Z axis, I'm going to tap Z just to make sure it stays straight. And you can use that to, you can use that little trick to grab or scale anything along whatever axis you want, whether it be Z, X, or Y. Okay, so now we're going to hit tab to go back into object mode. W, convert to mesh because you need to have this as a mesh when you go into sculpt mode. You're going to go down to box trim. Click in an upper corner and drag down. It's easier to get to where you need to be that way. And you're going to trim around where it dips in. And you're going to do the same to the bottom half. All right, go back to layout, layout or modeling, and that's looking pretty good. Now you're going to go to your modifier tab, at modifier array, change your factor just so that it starts to connect a little bit. And this is a little skinny, so I want to make sure it's a little thicker. Just for what I wanted to show you, of course, you can leave it thin like this too. Hit tab to go into edit mode, A to select all, all S and drag it until you get your desired thickness. I think that's good. And you're just going to up the count. If it's starting to touch here, you don't really want that. So you can adjust your factor. Let's do 5.5 for this. That's pretty decent. Nothing's really touching there. Nothing's touching at all. So now go ahead, click in the 3D viewport, in the 3D viewport. Curve, circle, a scale, scale it up. Select the Cuban chain link again. Or add modifier, curve, eyedropper. Select the circle. Click on the circle. Tab, Control T to twist it. If you want more of like a kind of bracelet, if you want a different shape, hit Tab. That's the gist of it. You can also play around with the circle and change the way this looks if you want to put this around someone's neck or a character's neck or whatever. You can always up the count or you can hit S to scale it until it links up again. Of course you can go into your shading, new, up the metallic, lower the roughness, change your base color if you want it to be silver that's fine. If you want it to be gold just pick a yellowy color and 
that is the gist of how to make a Cuban chain link. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any other questions for me about this, feel free to add a comment. Just go ahead and like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching.